Hi there, Chris here. So I have this Yale monoblock. Um, I can't find the key. I know I have a key, but I don't think it really matters much. And it is a, of course, Yale style key. <laughs> Yale style key, right? Uh, I believe it's a five pinner. Very heavy. So let's see if we can get into it. Um, I'm going to use top of the keyway tension and have some play in there. I think there's some spools, so let's see if we can pick this. Use the monkey paw, or start out with the monkey paw, see how that goes. My monkey paw is getting a little beat up, but that's fine. Yeah, still, still has a paw on there. So let's see how we doing here. Ooh, I don't know if I adjusted my volume. We'll have to see. Okay, I am gonna. A false set, a bit of one. So let's see if we can find who it is. One seems set, two seems set. Whoops. Well, that might be me slipping off. Two, three, maybe somebody in the back four. Feels like counter on four. I think we got four. Good counter on five. And we got this open. So not too tough. Um, I'd like to have the key. And uh, I don't think this is gettable. <laughs> but it is a very <laughs> heavy, heavy lock. And it's kind of pretty. It has that little rocking horse bottom, or rocking horse guides at the bottom. I once made some pieces for a rocking horse for a guy. Um, and a purple heart, which is <laughs> extremely, st extremely hard wood. And very brash. Brash meaning it's very chippy. And it was very, very tough to make those, but... Um, he was making it with all these exotic woods and he couldn't find anybody to make uh, those pieces and he couldn't make them himself but ultimately he was doing it to donate to the Ronald McDonald house in uh, Pasadena, California which he did and it turned out wonderful actually, don't tell anybody but he <laughs> he swapped the runners and they were beveled, so as you rocked the horse, it would stay in place. But he got them in the wrong, you know, the wrong sides. He swapped them. So as he rocked the horse, it would <laughs> not track anyway. <clears throat> as, boy, many years ago. Seven, eight, nine years ago, maybe. Anyway, but this one tracks well. It stays right there. All right, so that is the Yale monoblock. Kind of a beast of a lock. Thanks for watching. Um, leave a comment and questions. Someone asked me a question about, let's see if I can find it. Hi, Slink. Well, look out, Slinky Dink. Do, 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 do. about the discs in um, Abloy Classics and he was asking about this disc in particular um, and he says how does that affect picking the lock and this one see these don't have that little camel hump in them um, you get a lot more play. Your your pick tool, if it's not perfectly aligned, can get in there and 
gives you all kinds of ultra feed or ultra rotation and it, it ultimately fools you. So it does make it harder. I hope that explained it. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'm about 50-50 at this point. 50 subscribers and about 50 non-subscribers, 51 subscribers watch um, consistently and 49 um, people that just, you know, watch consistently but don't subscribe. So subscribing helps the channel. Anyway, um, that's all you got for me for today. We will see you next time.